Oh my goodness. What is going on guys? Welcome to Florida, the Panhandle. This is my first time in the Panhandle. Ah, check this out. White sandy beaches. Big long pier here. Out here with me ancient. He's making me carry everything. <laughs> I'll link his channel in the description. I do kind of have him carrying everything, but I gotta see what we're what we're doing here. We're gonna fish on this giant pier today in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. Wow, wow, what a beautiful place! And maybe we just hitch a ride on one of these golf carts to the end. That'd be pretty cool. Look at the water. Lots of seaweed right there, but wow, this is. This is amazing. Hi, I love your YouTube videos. Oh, cool. I appreciate that. What's your name? Blake. Blake. Nice to meet you, Blake. What, what video is your favorite? Um, I like most of the trout catching. The trout ones? Okay, people really love those. Cool. Nice to meet you, Blake. Thanks for watching, man. Bye. Subscriber already? So I think we should start yeah. kind, of, kind of close and then That's work. Right. Yeah. I think you're right. That's just, <laughs> I just hit me. Yeah. Here's a sabiki rig if you want to get started with that and see if you can catch us some bait or something. Alright guys, we do have shrimp. Look at that, a bunch of those guys in there. Three dozen actually. Um, let's see. I'm just going to grab them out of there. Alright guys, for the very first time I'm trying a pompano rig. Never used one of these before. So these are very popular in Florida. It's just a double rig and it's got a little like pink um, bobber on it and that's to attract the fish and to kind of keep it up off the bottom a little bit away from the crab. So there's like a sinker on the bottom and you can see like got double. You got one already? Oh wow. Oh that looks like a good little bait fish there. What is that? Nice. <laughs> first cast of the day. Oh it's a hard hardtail. That's like a little perfect little bait fish. They call them hardtails in Louisiana. I don't know if they call them that in Florida. Yeah, sweet pops. I mean, that is a beautiful little bait fish. Fish is chasing the, the bait fish to the surface, and then oh. the seagulls are trying to grab the bait fish before the fish. Oh, that's cool. Guys, yeah, there's some fish on the cruise out there. Huh. Wow, action already. I've got two little shrimp, guys. You can see right there, little live shrimp. There we go, guys. Just So that's a, basically a pompano rig. Um, so let's give this a go. First cast, first drop of the day here, folks. Put it right by the piling. Oh, shrimp gone. That was. You know what? I just remembered something. <laughs> I forgot about this. I'm not used to getting this bait here. I got another new thing. Check it out, fish gum. So this is something really popular here uh, in the panhandle of Florida. I've never used it before. <laughs> Look at that. It's like those rolls of gum you see when you're little. Hmm. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> that is so cool. I've never used anything like this. Uh, apparently there's like shrimp and I don't know, fish flavors infused into it. It's like putting bubble gum on a hook. Weird. Fish on. Fish chasing me too. Look at that. Fish on and the fish chasing. Feel like a on the sabiki. Another little silvery fellow. Did you just catch a pompano? Uh, no, that's just a big hardtail. Oh, okay. Nice. Sweet. Well, there's some good bait again. All right, this is absolutely wild using basically like bubble gum for fish here. Here we go. Here we go, bubble gum away, folks. Hey, Andrew, how you doing? You guys catching any? Dude, I just got a huge remora on the spoon. Who's what? what? Remora. Remora. What is that? Things. Oh, like they got the big. Are those the things that attach onto sharks? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. You want to mind being on a YouTube video? I don't care. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, this is Andrew. This is a subscriber. Met him when we came out to scout the beach. And uh, did you, do you eat the remora? You just, I just I don't catch know. I never caught one before. Okay, no. <laughs> that's cool. 
Nice. I'm just I'm actually trying a pompano rig for the first time, so I don't I'm not used to using that. I'm actually hoping for a pompano. Got something, something there. Nice. I think it's a remor. Is it remor? It is. Oh yeah. That's crazy. Oh, there are two more following it. We gotta tighten the drag. Yeah, just on like a piece of shrimp. Look at this guys. That's wild looking. What that is crazy. Wow, I've never seen one. I've never seen one either. Look at that. It looks like it has a flat head on it and stuff. <laughs> it's cool. It's called. It's a remora. It's a, like they're the they're the type of uh, fish that they attach onto sharks. Oh, wow. like yeah, they're just oh, yeah. a big one. Oh, yeah. There you go. You got one? <laughs> oh, that's so perfect bait. That's really cool. That's wild looking. That is crazy looking. What if there if is is his mouth messed up or is that how they are? I wonder. What do you think, Pop? Should we keep them or let them go? Give them, give them a try. All right, my friends, we are going to lower camera down there. Let's see what's going on. Ton of bait fish down there, guys. Guys, there is an insane amount of bait fish right here. Let's lower the camera down and see what it looks like. Yes. Oh, nice. Did he eat the, a pinfish? Yeah. Or something? Like that? Nice. Yeah, he's still alive one in there. Yeah. Oh, cool. It wasn't even hooked. He just oh, he wasn't so even far down. Oh, the that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he, wanted to, he wanted to keep it. He wasn't yeah. even hooked. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Can I put your fish? <laughs> oh, Whoa, he wants loose. That's cool. That suction thing. It suctions? Yeah. yeah. 
know. You can stick it on your arm and it just... Yeah. Oh, that's weird. That's cool. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy crap. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't chunk him. Throw him back in. Throw him back in. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Bye, Fishy. Bye, that's cool. You got doubles? They just got a nice remor of there. Oh, nice. Those little bait fish again. All right. I'm going to get a Carolina rig on and get one of those out there. Wait, what is that? You should totally make a lure out of that. Yeah, I found it in the parking lot. <laughs> that would be so funny. Yeah. Oh, man, dude, you could. You could make a little spoon, catch on the Geico. Can I just say one little Geico lizard there, guys? Oh, yeah. Really. It was great meeting you guys, yeah, Andrew, yeah, Sia, EJ, and Boston. Day, yeah. Hey, you guys nice too. See y'all. Nice to meet you. Too. My Mr. Lando, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, guys. All right, see, see, you. see you. See you maybe yeah. out here again. Yeah. Right. From Louisiana, some subscribers from Louisiana. So, all right, my friends. Underwater camera back down there again. There's some crazy stuff going on down there. Some cool, unusual fish. Some I don't even know how to identify. Um, I'm gonna put a piece of shrimp down there and try to fish in front of it, but uh, that's kind of a dicey thing I don't know which way the camera is facing exactly, but let's try fishing in front of it So when I first came here a local told me that the reason why there was so much bait up shallow is because every fall the shallower water gets warmer than the deeper water and so the bait move in and it can make fishing really good however, I've also heard from other people that this makes the fishing really hard because it's like having an all-you-can-eat buffet under there for the big predators and so it's hard for your bait to stand out and what is with this fish is this a trigger fish or a unicorn fish here comes another one they are absolute camera hogs they love the camera I don't know if it gives off a vibration <laughs> or something like that most fish either don't care or they stay away from it. I've had actually the big predator fish stay away from the camera. I wondered if it gave off, like, look at that. That one's fat. But uh, I wondered if it gave off some sort of a electrical pulse underwater. So most fish don't care. Uh, but these ones absolutely love it. <laughs> and I uh, want to be stars. And uh, I love them. I don't even know what they are. If somebody could enlighten me in the comment section. Look at that fish there. He has a big chunk taken out of him, unfortunately. It looks like something tried to grab him there. But the little ones, uh, these little trigger fish or whatever they are, keep coming around and around. And uh, I just thought they were hilarious. Here comes a third one. Really light colored one compared to the other ones. I think it's funny how the other fish glide through the water. And these ones, they almost, like, they have a hard time staying upright. They're kind of like awkward and <laughs> seem like they're a little off balance. You got some? Oh, nice. My dad's got some. He was using a uh, he's using a bait fish. Nice. Oh, that might be one of those remora. Oh shoot! It's over for a redfish or something. Look at this schools of bait fish right down there, guys. They're just there's so much bait everywhere. I mean, he smacked. That was cool. That's a pretty looking fish. It is pretty, yeah. Though. But <laughs> those are crazy looking. They're cool. Look at that big old fish. Nice. Does teeth? I don't know, I don't think so. That's not good. Look, that Here, I'll get pliers for you. Is that a catfish? That's a remora. You know those uh, fish that hang on to sharks and eat you know, eat the stuff off sharks? That's uh, this is what they look oh, like up close. So cool. No, your papa did, and he stuck it to his chest. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, they can stick to you. I've heard. Yeah, we were on like a um, twelve-hour fishing trip, and he caught it. And then like the guy that was on the boat, he was like, "Here, you caught it," and he stuck it to him. And I was like, "No oh. way!" Oh, that's crazy. It like, sucks that. to your so skin. Uh, he's not doing. Oh yeah. I yeah there's a little it. suction. I can feel it coming cool. on now. Yeah, I, have a, yeah, I have a picture. He's, he's trying to hang chest. on. Yeah. Throw it back in. Should we throw it back in? No. I'll try. Why don't you look down? We'll get him back in there. You ready? He's gonna yeah. dive. One, two, ready. There you go. Mm. Woo! <laughs> Is he okay? He's right. He just swam right off. <laughs> Do y'all ever watch YouTube? <gasps> yeah. I'm actually making a video right now. Channel. You watch my channel? Oh, okay, yeah. cool. What's your name? Uh, Gabe. Gabe, nice to meet you, Gabe. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, okay, I'll get another piece of bait in there. <laughs> All right, my friends, I've gone back to the simple stuff here. I've got a little Carolina rig, 20-pound leader, and just a shrimp, whole shrimp. 
I'm gonna lower it down there by the stanchion. The underwater camera's down there, but you never know which way it's pointing, so hard to know. Hard to know if it's gonna see anything, you know? So I thought this footage was interesting here in light of the idea that do big clouds of bait fish hurt or help the fishing? And you can see here the game fish cruising through them and they kind of part in front of the fish, or in this case, flee. And you can see like a group of game fish there. I think those might be uh, blue runners there, um, uh, kind of chasing them. And I think what they do is they'll chase the school and they'll see if there are any stragglers or anything, or just even kind of cruise through them. And if any bait fish appears to be injured, or helpless, then they'll eat that one. So you can even see remora cruising through them and they just they just part as the remora cruise around. So I'm kinda, I just think it depends on the situation. Maybe if you had just millions and millions of bait fish, it might be kinda hard to get the game fish attention, but at the same time, I think game fish are always going to be around bait fish. So might as well fish around them. And then uh, here, you see there's somebody's line, and they're using one of those bait fish, and Remora has it. So there you go. I'm not even sure whose line that is, actually. But that definitely supports the idea that, uh, that they search for the struggling ones, because if that fish is on a hook, it's definitely going to be struggling. And then here, the fish part, I'm not really sure why they scatter like that. But um, yeah, that was, that was interesting how the bait fish react to the game fish. All right, guys, I'm going to take a break, let my dad keep fishing. We're going to go do something here. All right, let's go into the grill here and see what... Uh, what they got for the fishermen. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? So, good, good. Uh, all right. Um, I will just take a to-go order. I was gonna bring out on the pier with me a couple, okay. I mean, have a burger. All right. Have a good one, thank you. you. All right, got some food here. Uh, can't believe how beautiful it is out here and uh, it's uh, September right now almost October so it's not like brutally hot like Florida can get like oh man this is gorgeous gotcha oh, thank you. and then I got a shrimp po' boy for you oh, man. that looks so good nice very nice frozen fries this is fishing right here. Mm. <sighs> that was just what I needed, guys. Whew. I was getting angry hungry out here. Feel a lot better now. Let's keep fishing. All right, guys, I'm gonna try putting on one of these big fish here. Dropping it down in front of the camera if I can. So check this out. I caught one of the little bait fish on a sabiki and put it on a hook. And the remora came over and started eating on it, but they would not commit. You ever wonder why you cast your line down and you say, man, I'm getting all these bites, but I just can't get anything. This is what's going on down there. They enjoy messing with, I think fish are like cats in that way. Sometimes they just like messing with a bait fish like this right here. You see all three of them around. They're like cats and then <laughs> runs into the camera. They're just kind of excited over it, but they don't want to actually eat it yet. They play with their food, basically, just like a cat does. And then right here, a stingray glides by. I thought that was super cool. Those are very majestic underwater, I think, especially the bigger they get. And then check it out, spade fish. For the first time, this is the first time ever filming spade fish on camera. And then the little camera hog comes over. He has to have a piece of the action. And then uh, there's a wounded jack right there, probably got hit by something in the school of croaker. In fact, the croaker were everywhere at this spot. They were being herded around, I think, by dolphins and the game fish. Very cool when about a thousand of them or a couple thousand swim by at once. And then the camera hog comes back.
guys check out this airplane that's coming it's a two prop what is that a seaplane that might be a seaplane with retractable wheels that might be that's wild looking that's cool huh well my friends it's been fun on the pier but now we got a new fish to try eating all right my friends back out on the pier this morning it's gotten quite windy but still beautiful out here what the heck that was a big dragonfly that's good luck anyway um dragonfly ran into me oh man i cannot get over how beautiful the water is down here anyway i'm gonna clean up the clean this fish and then uh, we're gonna drop him below the pier or we're gonna drop the carcass below the pier and see what comes along to uh to eat him Oh wow, the skin is thick. What in the heck? Guys, the skin is so thick. That's weird. There. That's so weird. <laughs> it's almost like cleaning a needlefish or something. Weird. The skin is thick. That's like the thickest skinned fish I've ever cleaned. All right, this is just a sample. Like we're just literally doing a taste test of this. Um, like you don't get very much meat at all. Like between the skinny body and then the thick skin taking up a lot of it. <laughs> just so, I mean, so might as well try to like, it's literally easy to easier to cut through that hose than it is the skin of this fish. You know, I'm trying to eat a remora for the first time. I've never that done. That is a remora. Yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna see for my for my YouTube channel, see if uh, it's good or not. Tell everybody. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but there's not much meat. They're already skinny, and the yeah. the skin is the thickest skin of any fish I've ever. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Cleaned. It's easier to cut through the hose than it is <laughs> the skin. <laughs> so. Well, I, I caught a remora. What's your YouTube channel? I'll give you my card real quick. I was about to say, because I want to see I want to see what you say when you eat this thing. <laughs> yeah, I want to see your face while you're eating this. Yeah. <laughs> there you Thank go. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> have right, a good, good one. Luck with that. Thank I think you. I'm going to have one heck of a. Um, so it'll be. Here's my hypothesis. You're gonna go through all this work and you're gonna be like, that I, was not. I'm, good I'm worried it. it's gonna be like a carp. <laughs> you yeah. know, like. Yeah. A, you're gonna go through all that and be like, all right, well, that was a thing I did one day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have a good one. You too, man. All right, guys, I think that's all I'm gonna get off of it for now. We'll let the fish have the rest. Let's lower it down there. The color of the water in the Florida Panhandle is not overhyped. I kind of thought it might be overhyped when uh, I heard people talk about it and when I read blog posts and stuff like that, but it is amazing. You can see here a good mix of pinfish and croaker swimming along. And then check it out, a look down. That fish is called a look down. It is a very popular aquarium fish. First time I've ever filmed one. That was super cool. So I lowered the fish carcass down and the pinfish, I think those are the pinfish, just went to town on it. And it's interesting that not a lot of other fish got in on the action. The pinfish just kind of dominated a couple of jack close by but they were just waiting for scraps mostly. In fact, I see one jack in there, but mostly it was the pinfish that wanted it. I didn't know pinfish were so ferocious. I know that they can stay on the hook forever. They're very, very hardy. Um, and they basically just spent the next 45 minutes picking it apart just little bit by little bit. Nothing else came along like a shark or anything, but still pretty cool. Well, folks, I'm actually gonna save this fish carcass who knows, maybe for a crab trap or something like that. Maybe we'll do it again sometime. But uh, that was cool, that was really cool. All right, my friends, there's a squirrel in the tree here. Hey, dude, you want something? I got something for you. Here, I'll just set it right there. Here, you can have it. There you go. 
squirrel in a palm tree. You don't see that every day, or palmetto. He's chowing down on something dried out, something like a dried apple, uh, dried apple skin or something. <laughs> He's super friendly. He's not scared of me at all. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so I have here some cashews from Bass Pro Shops. They're the sweetened ones, but let's see if he'll uh, if he'll eat them. Hey, you. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Will he eat sweetened? Oh, I think he likes them. He's carrying it away. Oh, he's burying it. Oh, I love it. He's burying it <laughs> in the pine needles. Yeah, save that for later. Definitely. Let's see if he'll take one out of my hand. All right, you little. Hey, hey, look at this. You want it? Hey, there it is. He's uh, it's going away. He'll probably come back. All right, my friends. So this is what I got from that fish. I could have gotten a little bit more, but not much. And uh, since I don't know if this is going to taste like a carp or a Spanish mackerel or something in between, these few pieces are, are what I'm happy with. And I'm going to cook them in uh, some Tony Sashers, which I love Tony Sashers. Good, strong flavor. So maybe even if the fish is not very good, this will, will make them a little better. And then I have here, I was uh, in Walmart the other day. And I saw this. It's been over a year since I've cooked up some fire sauce anything on my channel. I thought, you know, I'm going to do that. In fact, last time, or one of the times I was at the coast, I got some fire sauce that a subscriber sent me. So, had some water boiling here. Oh, it's in a packet. This one is ranked 5 out of 6 on the, um, what are those, jalapeno scale there, whatever. See, that's crazy to me. There's already a flavor packet going in. And we're gonna add the <laughs> fire sauce on top. I kind of need this, I'm gonna set it right here, because, you know, the fish isn't, there's not much there with the fish. So this will actually probably be the bulk of my uh, lunch. And then uh, for the fish here, I'm just gonna do a little deep frying. Deep frying is the best chance it has of turning out good. Come on, Tony, come through for me. I haven't used this in a while. Like, months since I used Tony Sashers. And then add just a smidge of salt. Stir that around. Add some canola oil. Weird little fish. You know, one thing that has me a little nervous is I read online that uh, those uh, remora also eat parasites off of the sharks. So let's just say I'm gonna cook these really well. Here we go. Remora going in hot. Actually, it's going in cold and comes out hot. You know, it's crazy with these, they actually swim in and out of sharks' mouths. How about that? The shark will just let them freely swim in and out because they like them cleaning all the parasites and everything off. All right, those little strips won't take long at all. While I'm waiting, here's the fire sauce. Got to make sure not to touch my eyes. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, I'm not gonna add this full packet. Like, I love me some spice, but I'm worried about these noodles. All right, we'll let that uh, all marry together there. How are we doing here? Looking good. This is looking more plain, more inviting. Look, I have to say, it kind of smells a little weird. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm overthinking it because I'm worried. All right, so me ancient has joined me. We're gonna try a bite of this. You know, actually, before we we do that, I'm gonna try a bite of the fire noodles here. Fire noodles. Yes, fire noodles. You want to try a bite? They're I'll five out of bite. six on the on the spice scale. I'll try a bite. Okay. Right. <laughs> you want to go first? Sure, I'll leave All right. So do I use this here? Uh -huh. I think it's we better fire sauce on it. I think we better say a prayer before we yeah, uh, definitely that. eat this. Definitely better, so. <laughs> for many reasons. <laughs> you know, sure. Dear Lord, thank you for this food we get to enjoy and the beauty of the creation and the ocean. I ask you to bless this food to our bodies now. Through Jesus I pray. Amen. Amen. I'm surprised you're trying. I thought you would be like, no way, that's your deal. See, I only put like a third of the packet in there. Well, that's good. Alright, here we go. It smells hot. 
It just smells spicy. Is it a pleasant hot or is it like... It's not hot yet. It's oh. not this stuff to be. Uh-huh. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, you know, I did only put a third of the pack in there. Yeah, it it definitely has a little kick to it <coughs> after now it goes down. Yeah. But it's not, I mean, it's not terrible. Mm -hmm. It's been so long since I've had these. I think yeah, if I were... I'm, I'm putting one third of the pack in was actually a very pleasant heat. Right. As opposed to the whole thing. If I, if I were to, uh, if I were to put the, like, keep eating it, I think then it would be intolerable for me. But one mm. bite, not too bad. All right, Ramora. If we go, we both go together. <laughs> Cheers. So this is a, a shark. Shark parasite fish. Shark parasite fish. Interesting. It looks like a normal fish, it I just said. Good, yeah. Bon yeah. appetit. Okay. That's good. Yeah. I mean, uh huh. No, it's it's not gross like a carp or no. tasteless like a sucker. Huh. That's tasty. Check that out. It's kind yeah. of a white. It's I wouldn't call it flaky. It's a little di more dense. Uh huh. It's All right, I'm gonna try. Thank you. Just a smidge of fire sauce on there. There you go. You go right ahead. Mmm. I think this is a hit for me. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean this is this. not bad. Not bad at all. Mm. Wow. Some fire sauce, huh? Very pleasant surprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. We caught some big ones too. I'm we like, did. They're skinny. But mm -hmm. we caught some like really big ones. And they get three or four feet long. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with Not um, Remora. So cool. I'd recommend it. Yeah. I'd recommend it. That's fun. You guys fish from the pier, catch Remora, definitely consider keeping one up, keeping one and cooking it. So well, that was a fun day, Pops. Mm -hmm. Appreciate going. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. We'll see you in the next one.